Brothers and sisters, when George W. Bush launched the attack on Iraq in 2003, he said he didn't have to pay attention to the anti-war movement and that the Arab street was dead. That is to say that Arabs and Muslims in the Middle East would not rise up, would not oppose U.S. intervention, would not fight the U.S. war in Iraq. In the last few months, all the Arab streets have spoken on this question. In one country after another, democracy movements emerged to oust tyrants who have been in power for 40 or 30 or 25 years. Democracy in the Middle East is coming from the bottom up and was never going to come at the ends of bombs, guns, and occupation. The movement across the Middle East is at a crossroads. After the fall of Tunisia's dictator in a month, after the fall of Egypt's dictator in 18 days, other dictators took stock of the situation. In Libya, in Yemen, in Bahrain, they decided to drown their people's movements in blood. We have to defend those movements at all costs. The U.S. and the West are now using the repression in Libya as an excuse to make intervention in the whole region possible again. Because at the end of the day, what the U.S. cares about is Saudi Arabia, the Gulf states, and its oil and geostrategic interests. Our duty in the states is to be able to support the movements across the region. And I can end by saying that uh, years ago, a song came out that was called Walk Like an Egyptian. Today, we ought to learn from Egypt and walk like the Egyptians, strike like the Egyptians, protest like the Egyptians, bring Tahrir to the United States. Thank you.